The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Okay, so for number 13, we need to check out uh, some things about the continuity of a piecewise function. So first let me rewrite the function. So we have three pieces, all of which are on specific intervals. So we have the function 5 if x is less than 1, 1 plus 4 over x if x is greater than 1 and less than or equal to 4, and just the square root of x if x is greater than 4. So we're asked about discontinuities, removable and non-removable discontinuities. So remember, removable discontinuities are called holes, uh, and that is when something cancels out of your function. If you have like a fraction, something cancels out, that would be a hole. Or in a case of a piecewise function, it could be when two pieces meet up at the same value, but they don't actually have that value. You can see we have that possibility here because this function goes up to 1, this function comes from 1, but neither of them have an equal sign, which means that that, that endpoint, if they had the same y value, would be an open circle and that would be a hole. So that's possible. Non-removable discontinuities are jump discontinuities, where in a piecewise function, two things meet at different y values, two pieces meet at different y values, or we have an asymptote. So you might be thinking, oh, we could have an asymptote here. Keep in mind, though, that would only be an asymptote if x equals 0. That's not one of the possible x values for this function anyway, so we don't even have to consider that possibility. So let's look at our only possibility of removable discontinuity, which is at 1, because here at 4, one of them is equal to. We could never have a removable, and we have no way of canceling anything from any of these. So our only possible removable discontinuity is where these two pieces meet. Let's see if they have the same y value. Well, this one is certainly at 5, because that's what the function is. To figure out what y value this one comes at, well, it's at x equals 1 is the point we're talking about. If we plug 1 in there, we just get 1 plus 4, which is 5. So both from the left and the right at x equals 1, these pieces meet at the value, y value of 5, however, it's an open circle there because neither of them are equal to. So having one removable discontinuity, that is true for this, because we don't have the possibility of one anywhere else. Okay, let's think about non-removable discontinuity. So non-removable discontinuity, that's jump or asymptote. Well, it's impossible for us to have an asymptote anywhere on this graph, because the only place we could have is if we were dividing by 0 here, but zero isn't part of that domain. So let's check where these two pieces meet, and if they're at different y values, then we might have a jump discontinuity as well. As well. So let's try x equals 4 for the second and third pieces, because that's where they meet. So we would have 1 plus 4 over 4 for the second piece. We would have square root of 4 for the third piece. This is 2, 1 plus 1. This is 2. They meet at the same y value, and one of them has an equal sign. So this is actually just a perfectly continuous part of the graph. There's no discontinuity there at all. So having non-removable discontinuity, that is false. We don't have any non-removable discontinuities. And finally, for Roman numeral 3, f of x is continuous at x equals 4. That's what we just showed by doing this. The piece from the left and the piece from the right, not only do they meet at the same y value, but at least, or but one of them has an equal sign, so the point is defined there. So remember, the this situation is what happened at 5, because they both met at the same point, but the point wasn't there. In this case, the point is there. That means it's continuous. So 3 is true also. So we got 1 is true and 3 is true, which is answer choice E. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.